Hey everyone, my name is Felicia and some of you may recognize me from church, but I'm going to start leading you guys in a Sunday school lesson on the first Sunday of every month. I'm really excited to be doing this and I look forward to seeing everyone in person when we can meet again. I hope that you all are having a happy new year and that you were all uh, able to enjoy your Christmas with your moms or dads or brothers or sisters. Um, and I'm just excited to be here with everyone. This week's going to be a little bit different because right now I am at Disney World, which is why I have uh, Mickey Mouse on the bed behind me. So it may be a little different than normal since I'm in a hotel room and I don't have all of my normal supplies with me, but I'm going to try to lead you guys in the story for this week the best I can. And they had recommended that we start off with a game of hangman, but that's a little difficult to do since we're not in person and I can't hear what your guesses are, but I'm going to try to um, give you a couple of hints and see if you can guess the words anyway. So the first word that we're going to be talking about this week starts with the letter G and it is five letters. This word rhymes with another word, pace. So let's see if you can think of a word that starts with the letter G, is mentioned a lot in the Bible, and rhymes with pace. So if anyone guessed grace, you would be right. So one of the words we're talking about this week is grace. Our next word is also five letters, and it starts with T. It rhymes with another five-letter word that starts with T, and that word is tooth. So can you think of a word mentioned in the Bible that rhymes with tooth and starts with a T? I'll give you all a second. Let's see if you can guess it as I'm writing it out. You guys know what it is yet? Truth. So the second word that we're going to be learning about this week is truth. And I hope that you guys can read them and they're not backwards. It may be backwards now that I think about it. The next one I bet everyone can get. It's also five letters. It starts with a J, and we just celebrated his birthday last week. So you guessed it. That's going to be Jesus. So here are three of our words for this week, grace, truth, and Jesus. We've got two more. They're also five letters. Are you guys seeing a theme here with the five letters? We've got five words. They're five letters each. The next one starts with a W. And it represents, let's see, where we all live, what was created by God. And that word is world. Last word. It's another G word, also five letters, and it rhymes with the name Tori. So what's a word that you hear very often in the Bible? Not grace, but another word that begins with G. And that is glory. So our five words this week that we're really going to focus on are grace, truth, Jesus, world, and glory. All right, so let's see, what do we have? There's five words, five letters in each word, and we're going to have five parts to our Bible story today. So we've got five as our common number for the week. All right, so one of the words that we talked about is truth. And I want you all to think of um, 
why telling the truth is important. Why is it important to you? I'll give you all a minute to think about it. I also want you to think about a time when you were telling the truth, but maybe no one believed that you were telling the truth. And how did that make you feel? I know that it would make me feel disappointed, frustrated, maybe even a little angry. Have you guys ever felt like that before? Have you ever had a time when you were telling the truth and and no one believed you? God has always told the truth, but people haven't always believed what he was saying and what he's tried to teach us. So God sent Jesus in human form to tell us the truth to see if people would believe Jesus instead. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So uh, I think each week you guys learn a verse uh, that you are supposed to memorize. And this week our new verse comes from John 1, and it is verse 14. So I'm going to read first from my daughter's Bible, and I think a lot of you guys probably have this Bible if you've already passed through the first grade. She got hers earlier this year. She's in the first grade. And we're going to read John 1, verse 14. The Word became a human being and lived here with us. We saw his true glory, the glory of the only Son of the Father. From him, all the kindness and all the truth of God have come down to us. And it just so happens that in our hotel room here at Disney World, we had another Bible. So I'm going to read John chapter 1, verse 14 from this Bible as well. And I want you to uh, listen really carefully and tell me if you recognize some words. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. So in our, in my daughter's Bible, they didn't really use the word grace. They used kindness, and that's another really good word. but that just kind of shows you how different Bibles may uh, change words up sometimes so that it becomes a little bit easier for people to understand. Um, and that's several words that we listened to earlier. Uh, grace, glory, truth, and then kindness was added. So we're going to have our opening prayer now. And I'm going to use the words that we discussed earlier, okay? So I want you to bow your heads. Dear God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for sending Jesus into the world for us. Thank you for the glory of your son, Jesus. Amen. So our story today will come from the book of John. Do you know where John is located in the Bible? If you guessed the New Testament, then you would be right. It's the fourth book in the New Testament. And... It's considered a gospel, but it's different than the other three gospels that you guys may have talked about um, with other teachers, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. It was written a little later than those. Um, And we're going to read from the first book, or the first chapter, chapter one. We're going to start at verse 10 and read through 18. So if you guys have a Bible at home if you want to pull that out with me. I'm going to start on verse 10. So we're going to be in John chapter 1 verses 10 through 18. The word was in the world, but no one knew him, though God had made the world with his word. He came into his own world, but his own nation did not welcome him. Yet some people accepted him and put their faith in him. So he gave them the right to be the children of God. They were not God's children by nature or because of any human desire. God himself was the one who made them his children. The word became a human being and lived here with us. We saw his true glory 
the glory of the only Son of the Father. From him all of the kindness and all of the truth of God have come down to us. John spoke about him and shouted, This is the one I told you would come. He is greater than I, because he was alive before I was born. Because of all of that the Son is, we have been given one blessing after another. The law was given by Moses, but Jesus Christ brought us under served kindness and truth. No one has ever seen God. The only Son who is truly God is the closest to the Father and has showed us what God is like. All right, so who are we talking about here? The author did not use Jesus's name often, but that's who he's referring to coming into the world um, and being sent by God. And if you were to use Jesus's name in the place of him and his and he, it may make a little bit more sense. So if you want to read through this again, and instead of saying him, he or his, try to use Jesus's name and see if that uh, makes a little bit more sense for you. And we also heard several of the words that we had talked about earlier. We heard glory, truth, world, Jesus, grace. So we have learned that God sent Jesus so that we could know God better and understand that Jesus is God's word of grace and truth. Um, and we're going to just read our memory verse one more time. And I'm going to read that from the Bible here in the hotel room because it uses the word grace. And I like that since we've been talking about it. So here's our memory verse one more time. This is from John chapter one, verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen him in his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And there's a couple of other things that uh, I would have liked to do today. There was a couple, there was a story, um, and maybe I can touch on that next time and come back to it. But like I said, since I'm out of town, I don't have all of the stuff that I would normally have. Um, but next time it'll be a little bit more organized. Um, so in our closing prayer, we're going to use three of the words that we discussed um, at the beginning, Jesus, grace, and truth. So we're going to just bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to live with us. You give us grace to let us try again when things go wrong. You teach us what truth is really about. Amen. All right, and that is all I have today. So I want you guys to take those words with you. Grace, truth, glory. And I want you to sorry, I lost my train of thought. I want you to try to read your memory verse again later this week. Um, that's going to be from the book of John, chapter one, verse 14. Um, and I will see you guys next time. So thank you. Uh I'm excited to be uh, leading you guys once a month and I look forward to getting to know all of you and seeing you when we're back in person. So thank you. Bye.